Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your first look forecast for this November 19th. Another chilly start and the winds. That'll be your number one impact this morning. We have winds at 5, 10, 15, even up to 20 miles per hour. And with temperatures starting out very chilly this morning, that's going to mean wind chill factors in the teens and single digits in some cases. Here's a look at Mesonet temperatures right now as of 4.30 a.m. 20 in E-Town, you see 22 up in uh, Hartford and Litchfield. You see uh, 25 down at Franklin and uh, 17, the current temperature reading over in Albany at this hour. And then as you uh, take a look at uh, wind chill factors, well, it makes it feel even colder. We've got some, uh, look at that, 10 right there in Albany is what it feels like. Feels like 16 this morning in Bowling Green, 14 Glasgow, 13 Munfordville, 11 is what it feels like up in Hodgenville. So if you're going off to school or work this morning, you'll have to dress in layers once again. But a warm-up is on the way. Doppler Max HD showing a clean sweep everywhere. No snow flurries, no issues with that. All is clear. Now we are looking at some high clouds that are beginning to move in here. You see from uh, St. Louis and down across the Ohio and the Mississippi rivers, the Wabash River, all of that is moving into southern Kentucky. As we go through the morning, you'll notice some high clouds on the increase. Tur uh, the current temperature readings right now, 24 at the Bowling Green Airport, and you see back to the west and southwest of us, temperatures are beginning to warm up and moderate a little bit. All of that is headed our direction. Average high, 58. Average low, 37. We'll be at 48 today. That's a little bit better. Slightly cooler tomorrow, but look at that warming trend into the weekend. 50s and 60s, and yes, we're talking maybe even some thunderstorms in that seven-day forecast. Future Max predictor showing some of the mid and high-level clouds moving through today, but no precipitation associated with any of that. Then we clear out again tonight. And during the day Thursday, things look pretty quiet around here. Future Max temperatures will start in the 20s this morning and warm it into the upper 40s, about 48 here. For Bowling Green, we'll drop it back down into the 20s tonight behind that weak front that's passing through today that will slightly cool us back down but then tomorrow we'll try to recover back to about 40 before the big warm-up happens as you'll see here in the seven-day forecast as we get into friday saturday sunday yeah that's more like it as we get through a windy 48 today a slightly cooler 40 tomorrow 45 on friday here comes the bigger warm-up breezy south winds on Saturday, most of the day will be dry, but late Saturday, some rain moving in at 57. Could even see a few thunderstorms on Sunday. Look at that rain chance at 80% and a high of 66. 60 on Monday with a chance of showers. And then we cool back down for Tuesday at 48 as we get ready, of course. Thanksgiving week, next week, Black Friday, all of that. We'll have a long-range forecast for you. In fact... I've got a 16-day uh, high-low forecast for you already posted on my blog site. Go to chrisallenchallenge.wordpress.com or link to it through my Facebook and Twitter feeds, and you'll be able to see that graphic there of uh, things to come for the Thanksgiving holiday weekend. In the meantime, have a great day. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, streaming live to the WBKO app. Know the weather before it knows you. God bless and have a great day.